the importance of not associating, or it can be associated, but not not mistaken your calling and your identity, your mission, your purpose, whatever it is, with the vehicle that you choose to express it through. So it's very tempting, especially if you're new to being able to recognize what your calling is and being able to come from that state of being no matter what. When that's still kind of novel to you and you're somewhat wobbly at it, but you're getting better at it and you start getting like a vision that comes from that connection to that calling. And maybe just to start a business or a project or organization that can fulfill that intention or a series of intentions that are very conducive to channeling that calling energy into people's lives. It, it requires experience or just remarkable clarity and integrity and authenticity to be able to, throughout that tra trajectory of starting that business or organization or project or whatever it is, to consistently remember that the calling is not the thing, it's not the extension. And so, in this way, you're able to always navigate, to always course correct, to always adjust because you're not identifying the truth with the means. So just make sure that you really, really see this, that you cannot do your calling, you cannot create your calling, you cannot become your calling, so to speak, right? So anything that's got anything to do with linearity, anything that's not here right now, basically, is going to be an extension, an expression, a means, an avenue for that calling to crystallize itself into this world. And that's beautiful. But the vehicle changes. You, know, you don't always drive the same car. Sometimes your car is not available or you need to upgrade. So don't get attached to the car. You want to be able to get to where you want to get to. You want to be able to transport your body. It's not about the vehicle. So if you can maintain that awareness, then it's easy for you to quit your job, or take on a new job, or create a new business, or change the business around, or redesign it from the ground up, or fire a couple of people, hire another couple of people, or whatever is required for that change. Because your fulfillment comes from the clarity with which you've learned to recognize the truth of what you are, and you've seen that it's independent, it exists independent from anything that you could ever do, or create, or manifest. Now, the more you start manifesting and seeing the distinction, between your calling and your manifestation of the calling, which is beautiful. It's, there's no separation there, but the calling it supersedes. The calling is far superior to any one of its manifestations. It can be housed in all kinds of different bodies, right? And that is what's happening. The calling actually is universal. It just has different flavors, depending on the blueprint of that individual lifetime, and so it's housed. The one calling, if you will, is already housed in an infinite amount of bodies. And so the same goes on a smaller micro, cost, micro scale is you are able to house your calling, your portion of that calling into all kinds of different avenues and vehicles. So keep that flexibility. Always recognize that ultimately no circumstance that you are not dependent on any circumstance. Since we understand the power of environment upon the unconscious mind of every human being on this world, now that we're aware of that, it is our responsibility to also alter the environment as one of the means in which we get to inspire humanity. So those prototypes are excellent examples of what works, what doesn't work, optimize it, and bring that out into humanity until every city is designed that way, right? Until every social structure is designed that way, so that everyone that gets born into the civilization is naturally focused on what is possible.